Lastly, be conscientious about setting the right channel audience rating for your channel so your audience knows what to expect. That's a brief overview of how you can help keep Mixer the place we know and love. Please review the rules of conduct in more detail if you have any questions. That's it. Thanks for watching. We'll get your stream set up shortly. What's up my fellow devs and welcome back to the dev shop. So today we're going to take a brief look at Slice Favorites. Now this is a separate window that allows you to quickly reuse your most used slices for quick editing inside of your level. So to illustrate that we're going to go to our entity light over here and I'm going to find it inside of my asset browser. To quickly do that you can go find Slice in the asset browser here when you right click it's going to take you right to it. If I right click on that, I can add as slice favorite. All right, and once I do that, you can go to tools, other, slice favorites. And as you look on my right, you see that I have a few. These are actually from my, my personal project, these two here. Um, so the If I right click on that, I can add as slice favorite. All right, and once I do that, you can go to tools, other, slice favorites. And as you look on my right, you see that I have a few. These are actually from my, my personal project, these two here. Um, so the entity light here. So this is our slice favorite window. And we can just drag and drop very easily when we're editing and you can do this with a multitude of, of entities that you have built up slices sorry that you have built up and once this window gets big you can even add a folder and you can call it um, you know human slices whatever you want and then we can drag those in there just for better editing and better uh, organization so very quick window this is my gunner class for my my game so I'm working on that but yeah so this is a very quick video for today. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know down below in the comments. Also, don't forget to like the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications. Otherwise, you guys won't really know when I'm coming out with videos if you haven't done so already. Discord, Patreon, all that good stuff is in the description below. Other than that, hope you guys are having a very dope day. Hope you guys are prospering on your projects. And until next time, keep developing. What's up, my fellow?
What's up my fellow devs and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to take a look at how to create and spawn a slice. Wanted to keep it simple as usual, but as you know that this can spawn into more advanced options for you later on. Real quick, do not forget to check out my other YouTube channel where I'm uploading dev vlogs and videos around my game studio. So for all of my game projects, don't forget to join the Discord for said studio or the Discord for this channel where we're learning about game development and doing tutorial videos and things like that. All right, let's get into the video. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is actually create an empty entity and we're going to name it something. For me, I'm going to call it my slice. Next, you want to scroll down into your project files. You can use anything that you want. Right now, I actually copied over the uh, objects from the starter game into my project so I can use them for the tutorials. And so I'm going to grab one of the objects from there, just drag it in, and I'm going to make it a child of our entity that we just created. Once I do that, you want to make sure that you right click on the top entity and click on the option that says create a slice. Once you do that, it's going to pop up a window for you to save your slice. I saved mine. It's inside of my slices folder where all of my slices live and over the uh, objects from the starter game into my project so I can use them for the tutorials and so I'm going to grab one of the objects from there just drag it in and I'm going to make it a child of our entity that we just created child of our entity that we just created. Once I do that, you want to make sure that you right click on the top entity 
and click on the option that says create a slice. Once you do that, it's going to pop up a window for you to save your slice. That is the option that says create the top entity. Once I do that, you want to make sure that you Once I do that you want to make sure that you right click on the top entity and click on the option that says create a slice once you do that it's going to pop up a window for you to save your slice i saved mine inside of my slices folder where all of my slices live and once you do that it's going to turn your entity blue which indicates that it's a slice the next thing that we're going to want to do is, is turn our slice dynamic which allows us to spawn it inside of the world either through code or using a component so as you can see here mine is already set to be a dynamic slice but for you you might have it say uh, something that says set as dynamic slice mine says unset which lets me know that it's already set as a dynamic slice so now that we have our slice we can now get ready to spawn that slice using a spawner component so what you want to do is make another entity and I'm gonna call it spawner Then I'm going to delete the slice because we no longer need it in the world because we can generate it or instantiate it inside the world through code or components. I want you to go to the add component area for the spawner and add a spawner component. Next, what I want you to do is actually go to your slice that we just created and saved. And if you hit the drop down on that slice, you're going to see a dynamic slice option. Drag that into your spawner. Now that we have that, the last thing that you need to do is to actually click on Spawn on Activate on your spawner component. That way the object spawns, or sorry, the entity spawns as soon as we hit play. So now that we have that functionality, we can actually take the spawner, we can copy it, place it in different areas. And if we were to hit play, all these things would spawn automatically for us based off the location because it has the spawner right there on the entity. Now this is a very simplistic look on spawning a slice. We can get more advanced, which I'll actually have a video for you guys uh, either tomorrow or Friday uh, that shows how to use code to spawn based off the position of the entity or to pick your own position if you're doing something like a team deathmatch or something like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it was clear and concise for you. Um, if you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Uh, or you can reach me on Discord or Twitter or what have you. I'm getting back in the stride of making videos. I am working on like the new trailer for my game and dealing with that. So uh, bear with me. But if you guys have any questions uh, about what you want to see on the channel, do let me know. Other than that, hope you guys are having a very dope day. What's up my fellow devs and welcome back to the dev shop so today we're going to try to pick up where we left off in the previous video where we were creating our slices in this video we're going to actually spawn our slice through code so as you can see here I have my spawner still and the only thing that I'm going to change is adding a script canvas component and then I'm going to uncheck spawn and activate on the spawner component so I already had the script written out. It was so simplistic that I need to rewrite it on the video. So I call it test one. I'm gonna add that for you. You add a simple uh, script canvas node. And here it is. We have our on grab start, which you use at the start of your entity. Then we're going to create another variable, or say a variable rather, uh, called time spawned.
Make sure you have it exposed on components so we can see it in the editor. And then we're going to use a simple node called delay. And that is basically a countdown to do a certain action on the uh, out pin. And that action that we want to do is spawning the slice that is already on the entity so we're going to expose the time on spawn variable so we can change the time output from when it spawns and that's the whole script right there that's your whole spawn script so let's go back out to the editor And if we pull down to the drop down, you see that we have our time on spawn variable. So what I'm going to do is actually duplicate a number of entities and I'm going to place them around each other. Then I'm going to change their time to spawn uh, for each one to give them a different uh, spawning time when the game activates and if we push play you will see that it spawns in at the set time that we gave it Then I'm going to change their time to spawn uh, for each one to give them a different uh, spawning time when the game activates. And if we push play, you will see that it.
to written out. It was so simplistic, I didn't need to read it for you. On grab start, which you use at the start of your entity. Then we're going to create another variable, or say a variable rather, uh, called time spawned. Make sure you have it exposed on components so we can see it in the editor. And then we're going to use a simple node called delay. And that is basically a countdown to do a certain action on the uh, out pin. And that action that we want to do is spawning the slice that is already on the entity. So we're going to expose the time on spawn variable so we can change the time output from when it spawns. And that's the whole script right there. That's your whole spawn script. So let's go back out to the editor. And if we pull down to the drop down, you see that we have our time on spawn variable. So what I'm going to do is actually duplicate a number of entities and I'm going to place them around each other. Then I'm going to change their time to spawn uh, for each one to give them a different uh, spawning time when the game activates. And if we push play, you will see that it spawns in at the set time that we gave it. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Very simple one. It was just a, a, a tack on to the previous video. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. You can also hit me up on Discord to... Well, that one's not working. Let's see what the community has to say.
Oh, my layer could be screwing this up. So... No. some documentation then. Spawn timer. Well, I have to come back to this one, I guess. Well, I'll come back to this one. Thanks for watching. I'm out.